Hi, Colorado Republicans. This is your chairwoman, Christy Burton Brown, back with another update. This last week, we were able to achieve a great victory in the state legislature with our allies on the center right, our great Republican legislators, and parents, teachers, and kids around the state. HB 1295 was defeated in the State House Education Committee when parents from across the state came to testify and tell the Democrats on that committee that it was not an acceptable option to strip away their ability to bring a high-performing charter school into minority and economically disadvantaged areas of Colorado. It's very unbelievable the Democrats would even bring a bill like that in the Colorado legislature, but they did. They're trying absolutely everything they can to take choices away from parents and from teachers here in Colorado, and they are trying to assume all control for themselves. Thankfully, it was defeated, but we have to remember that the majority of Democrats on that committee still voted for that bill in the face of testimony from uh, people like a Hispanic student who went to a charter school, grew up, and testified that this bill was a racist bill. A mom who said that she worked with undocumented immigrants in Colorado and that she was there to speak, off, speak up on behalf of her own children. She spoke against this bill. And yet the Democrats, even when hearing from communities that they claim to represent and people who they claim are vulnerable, they still voted against their options in education. They voted against their ability to bring high-performing charter schools to their children's area. This is the modern Democrat party here in Colorado, and we have to bring to light that we are the party that stands for school choice, for options in education, while the Democrats continue to try to pull control and choice away from parents and from teachers and from children and assume it all themselves. But great victory on Thursday. Thank you if you helped us speak out for that. It's really important. Um, the next thing we have to take a stand on is the entire situation with Tay Anderson, over 60 children reporting assault and violations that occurred and happened against them. These allegations have been brought forward. And of course, everyone deserves a fair trial and due process, but there is no way that we should stand by while a person in a position of authority is accused of using that authority and power to devastate the lives of children. We have to take a stand. The DPS school board should be a, a lot more strong in how they're dealing with the situation with Tay Anderson. They need to hear from parents around the state who feel that it's very, acceptab un very unacceptable that someone with these kind of accusations against them still has access to children, the ability to vote uh, on who the next superintendent of DPS is going to be. This is, this is unacceptable, and Tay needs to be taken out of that position immediately. Please use your voice and speak up to the DPS school board. Uh, I'm continuing to travel Colorado, going to go into um, the northwest corner of our state this next weekend, meet with more Republican leaders, continue to talk to, to candidates who are going to run for a whole variety of offices. Very excited to see the progress that many of our candidate training programs have made in bringing great people to the table. And also really excited about everything we're going to talk about in the near future with a contract with Colorado, the issues Republicans are going to deliver on in Colorado and bring new and better leadership that really guides Colorado into the future as we fight for jobs, kids, and the American dream. Uh, reach out to me anytime if you have questions or thoughts. Thanks for being in this fight and let's keep it up.